What is going on, guys? Name is here bringing you guys a brand new video. Now, today is a wonderful day. Uh, we got to see Vanguard a couple days ago. Teams are starting to make announcements. All the teams are locked in. We're going to see announcements coming in for the next few weeks. But as you can see, I'm wearing my Call of Duty Vanguard hat. I'm already getting in the mode ready for the new game. All right. The beta for PC is going to be next weekend. I'm going to be giving away a beta code to one of you guys that comment and likes the video. Uh, so make sure you guys are on the lookout for that. I'll be giving it away sometime throughout this week and you'll have a, a good time getting on and playing. But uh, anyways, let's talk about these two teams that just made big moves. Uh, LAG, which we covered in the last video. I'm going to talk about what I think about this roster now and then the other big move. So without further ado, let's get right into it, baby. All right. So Los Angeles Gorillas, they made their roster announcement. Let's check out the video. We got to show them their support. So let's check it out real quick. Tags, pushes him back, Slasher finishes the job, 27 and 19 for him right now. Over he goes immediately and Slasher is simply snapping his way across the map. That's oh. the guard by himself. Okay, Slasher. We got the gunless. That's an alright video. Ace him on the clip, we like that. Nice little two piece, alright, alright. <laughs> we had to get a Black Ops 4 clip for Hook. Alright, and there you have it, guys. So, there's the video. One, I give them like a solid 6 out of 10 in the video. Minimal effort, but it looked great. It looked okay. Decent announcement. Slasher, Gunless, Asim, and Hook. Okay, let's break down this roster. I, first of all, I said this in the last video. I respect LAG for getting this talent, throwing the money out there, and getting a good roster. It was their time to rebuild. Clearly, they're making some big moves. Um, and they got a good team. I think this team is going to be very good. Uh, you look at this team going into a game like World War II. The last World War II game, Slasher was pretty good. Gunless was pretty good. Hook was pretty good. And now you got Asim who's coming to his own. Uh, you think about this roster. Now they have the makings of a good one, right? You have Slasher and Gunless who are, are going to be the AR. Slasher who's the main AR. Gunless who's the flex, right? They can run those STG 44s, which look like it's going to be the main AR going into this game. You have Asim, who's that entry fragger, that SMG, who will go in and do that dirty work. And then you have Hook, who's also lights, who can match that pace with Asim. So looking at this team, I also think in Search and Destroy, they can be very good. We saw some crazy moments out of Asim this year. Slasher's the Search and Destroy mastermind. And what I think about this roster is that they will be able to listen to Slasher, give him the respect that he requires, and they should be able to work together pretty well. Um, I, I like the dynamic on here. You don't have anybody who's really the struggler player on it, the guy who's really prone. I guess Asim is prone to the bad game, but his bad games aren't equal to other people's bad games. Asim's bad games are him going out there first and everybody else going off and picking up streaks and things like that. So with this team, I think they will be very solid at respawn. They should be good at search and destroy as time goes on, but obviously that's going to be with Slasher and the coaching staff to come together, figure out what play style works best for them and go out there and get it done. Um, but I think they have all the pieces to the pie to make up a good team going into the entire year. I think they have the talent to compete with the top, top teams. I think you take this team, you put them up against any other roster that we have in the league. And in some regard, they should have an edge, right? Other than like phase, they should have an, an edge in some facet over other teams, whether it be the AR duo having an edge over the opposing squad's AR duo. I'm looking at the other rosters and I'm thinking about it. I'm like, what team can have an AR duo that is going to be just considerably better in slasher gunless and not many right uh you look at the smgs and who can ace them and the pace that these guys are going to be able to play at not a lot of teams will have smgs that can match these two guys pace so going into every series they should have an advantage in one facet of the game and looking at that they should be able to capitalize on that versus most teams right even if it's just talent alone it'll just be whether or not these guys can come together but looking at this roster i mean you have the the guy in slasher who is known to have the hot head right he can be the guy that gets frustrated when they start to lose but then you have asim who's the guy who can rally everybody back together you have hook who's that chill guy right and then you have asim and hook who are the grinders as well so gunless is going to respect that he's going to put in that extra time time and when you have who can ace them the guys who grind who figure out the nerdy things about the game the movement mechanics and things like that it 
it inspires Gunless, and that is how Gunless gets better. He hasn't had that in quite some time, so Gunless to have these guys who are going to be playing those Pro 8s, who are going to be sitting there waiting. If it takes an hour, two hours to get the Pro 8s going, Gunless is going to be right there with them. So I see these guys having a lot of success. Uh, I think outside of the game as well, when they're just chilling in a call, they're going to be a very vibey team. People are going to want to hang out with these guys in the team speak and things like that. So I think they'll just be involved in the now. They'll be... Uh, there throughout the season competing with the best of them i like this roster a lot um but like i said the one thing is just going to be can they stay composed and work through their problems i feel like we say that about all of slashers teams but uh, if there's one that's set up for for success it should be this one after the couple of years that he's had i think uh he's really taken a step back and worked on himself and his mental game and and uh, going into this one, it's a new opportunity. He knows that this opportunity can be taken away from him. He got benched last year, and you know a lot of the pressure is on him to make this a winning team. He's going to a camp in Los Angeles Gorillas that has not been successful for two years. He's got a good roster. They're gonna, they should be able to put it together. So, um, you know, for the other Los Angeles team, they're making some big moves. They're trying to be that team in LA. And like I said, I think this team will be pretty good. All right, moving on. LA Thieves announced that they picked up Sam. I think this was pretty obvious. We were talking about this for a long time. Uh, Octane, absolute beast of a player. Uh, people started to question his passion, uh, whether it resided in winning uh, anymore after what happened last couple of years, him complaining all the time on social media. So for him, now that he's on LA Thieves and he's where he wants to be, after him being on Surge, it is time for him to show up. So LA Thieves, right? Completely like made so many changes this year. They... We're trying to win by any means necessary. And they have Kenny Andraza. They get rid of everybody else and they pick up Octane. I think this is a great move. Now for Octane, he has to have a big year, right? Like for when you have a guy like Sam, who's one of the best ARs of all time, and he has two struggling years like that. Um, this is the best time to go and sweep him up, right? And lock him in. Uh, and they go out and they do that. And for Octane, he's still extremely good, right? He fr frustrated online, probably the most heavily affected by it uh, of any player in the entire league. And then he goes to land and he just puts out a lights out performance uh, both the times that he's on land. So looking at him, he still has it in him. And moving into a season where we should be having more lands, where the world is starting to get normal again, Sam is a hot commodity. And now they get him back on the roster with Draza, up and coming player who's just an absolute animal with Kenny, who's still one of the best in the world. He had moments of greatness last year. They have a fantastic team. You can't pass up the opportunity to get this guy on your roster. He can take over games. He is that type of player. He is a superstar when he is surrounded by the right players. He wins championships. So I like this. Their fourth is Envoy. And this team is nasty. I mean, looking at the teams that people are starting to make, we are going to, it's like we have so many super teams now going in to the next season. It is going to be truly a wild season. I mean, last year we had one of the most competitive seasons we've seen. Uh, even though FaZe won a bunch of tournaments, we still had a lot of teams that were very, very good. And then going into this one, a dub dub two game. With the teams that I'm seeing being built right now, that rosters are starting to be rumored slash confirmed, there's so many good teams. People are figuring out what works and they're going back to what they know works as well. So I am just incredibly excited. Uh, put Envoy on this team and LA Thieves instantly become one of the better teams in the league. All right, guys, LAG versus LA Thieves. Who built the better roster? Well, let's get into it. Uh, you know, I look at both of these teams, right? And it's stacked from top to bottom. The SMG duos, the AR duos, they're just very, very good. Um, you look at a player like Drazon LA Thieves, who's like a chameleon. He can run any weapon. If he needs to run an SMG, he'll run an SMG. If he needs to run an AR, he can run an AR. So I think that is a slight edge that I can give towards LA Thieves. When you look at the LAG roster, in terms of SMG aggression, they have the immense edge over the LA Thieves, right? You look at Ace and Hook, both those guys, they play at light speed. They're extremely fast. And if Slasher and Gunless keep about that pace, they'll have an extremely dominant respawn team who can go toe to toe with the best of them so when you look at who can ace him that is a good duo to have when you're going up against a team like the atlanta phase or any other team that has a crazy dynamic submachine duo if ace him and hook are on point they can take down anyone now when i look at these two teams i think respawn first they should both be very good at respawn but the reason i'm going to say the la thieves are going to be the better team is because of search and destroy and it's this man right here on the right side of your screen it's envoy what he's able to do, when you have a guy who can dissect a game, who can come up with s &D strategies, who can call the play and be the first one in to make that initial play, 
you are looking good i mean he's a very unique player when it comes to search and destroy not many can do what he does uh, and he gets it done man there were times throughout the year where optic chicago was dominant at search and destroy and it was envoy who was making those plays obviously skump was going off as well but envoy was the guy who would be going out there playing by himself on the island making plays and getting it done for the squad he's not afraid of the big moment and i think that that gives them a slight edge when it comes to search and destroy now, that's not to say LAG won't be good at search and destroy because they have good search and destroy players. You know, ASIM, he's been clutched plenty of times, Slasher as well. Uh, I think it's just going to be harder for them to be on point as a unit when it comes to SD, given that these guys haven't really played much together. I mean, you have some experience there with Slasher and Hook. They haven't had a ton of success since AW. And you have Gunless, who's played with these guys before, but obviously he's been sort of in a slump for the last couple of years. Then you have ASIM, who is relatively new to these superstar studded rosters, right? He's just coming into it. He just came from being like one of the main guys on his team and being the leader he's gonna have to kind of fall back a little bit and and just kind of be a role player on this squad which he can definitely do but it's gonna take some time to learn and get used to so i just think they have a little bit more obstacles than when you look at this la thieves team who just has a fantastic makeup i mean these guys they have a ton of chemistry together kenny and draza they were the duo this year you had octane and kenny who's played together for a ton of time and you have envoy who i think is the perfect fourth for this roster i mean i think it just works i think it just works great um, so yeah, I'm going to go with LA Thieves. I think that they uh, are set up to have the better season. If LAG have a, a better season than LA Thieves, would I be shocked? No, uh, but I, I just think LA Thieves made a really good move. So I'm going to give them the shout for the better team going into the season. Either way, I think these teams are insane. I can't wait to watch them compete. But yeah, search and destroy, it does it for me. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. As always, it's been real. I noticed a lot of you guys watch the videos, but you don't leave a like. So leave a like. It helps out a lot. And the next videos we have will be the top 30 players of all time in Call of Duty. It's going to be lit. I'll see you guys in the next video.